Welcome to episode 3 of the 1976 Top Film from Siskel and Ebert. With film number 9 for Siskel, we have The 7% Solution. This film was directed by Herbert Ross. It was nominated for two Oscars. They include Best Writing, Screenplay Based on Material from Another Medium for Nicholas Meyer, and Best Costume Design for Alan Barrett. This film stars Alan Arkin as the infamous psychiatrist Dr. Sigmund Freud. Robert Duvall plays the iconic character Dr. Watson. Nicole Williamson plays the great detective Sherlock Holmes. And finally, Laurence Olivier stars as Professor James Moriarty. The story for this begins with the great Sherlock Holmes in quite a quandary. As the film's title suggests, he's extremely addicted to a 7% cocaine and 93% saline solution. His colleague, Dr. Watson, desires to help Holmes and figure out the best method to do this is to take him to see the infamous Dr. Sigmund Freud, who specializes in addiction recovery. And as the recovery begins, there's an abduction of a woman, and there's a mystery that the unfolds and the trio must solve. Holmes is convinced that behind all this is his nemesis, Professor Moriarty, and Freud knows that he must get to the root cause of what, what and why Holmes started using cocaine to begin with. The mystery includes plenty of action, ranging from, ranging from tennis, there's sword fighting, and there's hairline escape from death, and a great train scene at the end. The film perhaps spends too much time on Holmes' addiction and recovery, but the, as the, the mystery and development progresses, and it was pretty entertaining. The film does not really make great use of one of the best actors with Laurence Olivier, but it does try to be faithful to the book which it did get an Oscar nomination for. Overall, I would give the story for this film a rating of 4 out of 5 stars. The Seven Percent Solution has a great cast, with veteran actors such as Robert Duvall and Alan Arkin. It's quite odd that these big names would be more of a centerpiece in the film when you have a, a character like Sherlock Holmes. The performance of Holmes is fine, but he's covering from drug addiction, and so the actors, the other actors, get a little bit more to work with early on. Alan Arkin's performance as Freud is intriguing, and it comes off as a man that has his own set of convictions, and he's ahead of his time, and he demands a certain level of respect. Duvall plays a good, does a good job as Watson. He's a great sidekick, as everyone knows, and he's simply trying to help out his wiser comrade, Sherlock Holmes. Lawrence Olivier steals each of the scenes he, in, he is in, but unfortunately he's not really in the film that much. But overall, this is a good cast, and I would give the performances for this film 4 out of 5 stars. The aspect ratio for this film is 185 to 1, and the cinematography overall is pretty good. There's many hallucination scenes and nightmares that Holmes takes the audience through as he battles through his addiction and withdrawal from cocaine. There's a constant thread of the past sequence of him as a child that constantly gets reminded to the audience over the course of the film. 
And there's plenty of action sequences, like the train at the very end was really well shot. There's overhead shots. There's a lot of cutting shots that sequence everything together and makes it entertaining. The settings and the costumes certainly put you in the time period of the film, so the Oscar nomination for Best Costume is well warranted. Altogether, I would give the cinematography for this film 4 out of 5 stars. This film has a 71% rating on Rotten Tomatoes and a 6.6 .6 on IMBD. For Sherlock Holmes film, 7% Solution has the right elements. It's got mystery, it's got intrigue, action, and of course strong characters. The story is not as really complex as some of the other Holmes novels um, from Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, but the fact that we learn more about Sherlock Holmes and his complex relationship with Professor Moriarty really puts an exclamation point on this film. The action is fun, and it's really quite an underrated film overall, I would say. I would give this film four out of five stars. <laughs>